I want to tell you a little story before the special number. Praise the Lord. Ten years ago, in 2010, the pastor of this church had to leave. And we needed a new pastor. Now, the pastor had an assistant, another pastor, who was his assistant. So between that pastor and his assistant, they assumed that the assistant will automatically be become the new pastor. The board of trustees, of which I was chairman then, as I still am now, to the glory of God, had a meeting and decided we chose a new pastor. That was 10 years ago. And all hell was let loose. Both the pastor and the assistant declared war on this church. I know a lot of us are not here. A lot of people are watching this at home. And I know that this is a permanent record. So I have no problem saying it. That quite literally, they declared war on the church. The church then, so they decided that the church should be broken up. In fact, that the church should die. Amen? Praise the Lord. But we knew that we had not taken a decision of our own volition. We were guided by God. Praise the Lord. And when I look back, I can only thank God that we took the right decision. Praise the Lord. It is August 2020. It is 10 years since Pastor Grace Ugaye has been our pastor. I know it would have been best for us to be able to celebrate and have a party and really celebrate her. I couldn't do, I cannot do the work that she does. It's 24 hours work. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I don't know how many of you can do what she does. The passion, the energy, and the commitment she puts into it. So I think it is worthwhile for us to say thank you to her. To let her understand that we appreciate all these 10 years, all the sacrifice and all the effort she has put into it. It looked then like everything was shaky, there was a problem, there was all kinds of things. But here we are, we're standing. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I would like the representatives of each of the natural groups to please come forward. So we'll make a presentation to our pastor. Praise the Lord. Come, come on, come on. On behalf of the throne of grace, this is a little token to say thank you. We appreciate all that you have done. And we know that God will continue to uphold you. And God will continue to strengthen you. Your labor of love will never be in vain. You will not lose your reward in the name of Jesus. We thank you. Our Lord our God, we thank you. We thank you for Pastor Grace. We thank you for the grace you have given her to lead us these past 10 years. We ask Heavenly Father that your grace be upon her, that your glory be upon her. We pray that you continue to back her up and that her, her word will not fall to the ground. The energy you have given unto her, the passion you have given unto her, the wisdom you have given unto her, we ask that you continue to renew in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Pastor Grace, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations to you. Here we are, lifting our hands to you. Here we are.
I just want to thank um, the board of trustees, the entire church, for honoring me and the opportunity to serve. It's a privilege, and it has been God all the way. And I just want to thank you, Chairman, and all of you. God bless you. God bless you indeed. We will run this race to the end in the name of Jesus, the God of heaven himself. We show up for you wherever you go in the name of Jesus. The God of heaven will honor you in your going out and in your coming in in the name of Jesus. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Let's give a clap offering to the Lord. We have the victors. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is today. Victory today is mine.